awesome team of experts, let's introduce you to Cindy Ingle, a mom from San Diego, California. My name is Cindy Ingle. I am 32 years old. I grew up in a small town. I was really, really shy, big nose, and I was just an easy target for kids to pick on. When I was in elementary school, my grade put on a Halloween program. I was easily selected to be the witch. That's how I see myself. People just don't understand what it feels like inside to know, to feel ugly, unattractive. To me, Cindy's beautiful, inside and out. But her self-confidence is nowhere near as high as it used to be. I was 23 years old when I married Ken. And then all of a sudden, I found myself pregnant. After pregnancy, the body starts changing. I nursed for a number of years. It took a toll on my breast, and then my facial hair became a problem. Now it's gotten to a point where I use a razor every day. I'm real self-conscious doing sex. Lights are typically off. I wear a shirt because, um, you know, kind of cover up my stomach, my breasts. I want to feel confident in bed. I want my sex life going from blah to chicka-bam. I love you. I love you. It's hard for me to be away from my children. You pick up, baby. I love you. But the SWAN program is going to make me a better person. Thank you, baby. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I love you. I'm going to miss my family so much. But this is really important to me. Oh, breaks my heart. But in Cindy's own words, how do we turn her from law to chickabam? <laughs> Cindy is, represents the ideal plastic surgical patient. She realizes that her nose is droopy and she also has a pointy chin. In her own words, she looked like a witch. Wouldn't you agree, Terry? That's an incredibly difficult nose to do. I mean, that nose could go horribly wrong if you make a few false moves on it. She doesn't have the greatest of genetics, and I'm wondering what we're going to do with her stomach. I can put her on all the sit-ups in the world. That's a tough one to tackle. That's not going to help loose skin with bad stretch marks. She just needs some breast enhancement as well as a small abdominal plastic. Yeah. Do you think that she'll be prepared for a beauty pageant? It's going to be a difficult transformation. Well, time is ticking, so let's go. Cindy's plan features several procedures, starting with her face. She will have a nose job, brow and mid face lift, cheek refinement and fat removal below the eye, lip augmentation, liposuction and shortening of the chin, photofacial, hair removal, collagen and LASIK eye surgery. For her body, Cindy will have breast augmentation, liposuction of the inner thighs as well as a tummy tuck. For her fitness transformation, Cindy will be put on a 1200 calorie a day diet and will spend two hours a day at the gym. For confidence and self-esteem, she will undergo weekly therapy and coaching. I have a lot of work ahead of me to get Cindy ready for the pageant. Her sharp facial features, including her nose and her long chin, need to be softened. And motherhood has taken a real toll on her okay. body. Um, let's have a look at your breasts. Do you mind standing up for me? OK, so you've lost a lot of volume here from the nursing. And you need improvement of your abdomen. You've got stretch marks here and a little bit of overhang. We would cut all this out. Cindy needs an internal nipple lift with breast implants. I'll also perform a tummy tuck and liposuction on her inner thighs. My biggest challenge with Cindy is to fix her nose, and it's not going to be easy. Her nose is just too long and too droopy mm -hmm. for your face. This nose has got to go. Okay. I've had a witch's nose my entire life, and I feel that's my biggest obstacle to get to the pageant. Cindy is facing a series of challenging... Tomorrow, Cindy will endure 10 hours of extensive surgery. Looking for support, she calls home. She's feeling very alone. 
Her Navy husband is at sea and she desperately misses her young sons. How's my precious dinky dinks? Fine. Fine. You sound good. I still have your flower you gave me. Is it dying? Well, it's turning a little brown. <laughs> you okay without me? Yes. Are you going to be okay? Yes. All right. I love you. I love you. The next morning, Cindy puts her sadness aside and focuses on the day she's waited for all her life. So ready to change my nose. It's been a stigma to me my whole life. Cindy's nose is going to be a tough case. It's one of the more difficult rhinoplasties that I've ever attempted. You know, there, there are certain limitations. We have to just be realistic mm -hmm. as to what we can and can't do. Well, before I pass out, take good care of me. Make me beautiful. You will. Got our work cut out here, huh? Yeah. What I'm going to be doing today is liposuction on her inner thighs and an endoscopic brow lift with mid facelift. I'm going to be shortening her chin and augment her lips. Then I'll give her a tummy tuck and breast augmentation. But the area that is going to take the most time will be her nose. I'm about to start the breasts. I'm going to aim for a small to mid C on her. Went very well. Now becomes more of the critical time. Correcting the droopy tip of her nose is going to be particularly difficult. Four by four. I have to rebuild it by taking cartilage out of her ear and placing it strategically inside her nose. Scalp. <sighs> taking a graft from the ear to lower the nostrils is a procedure that is very rarely performed. It takes a great deal of time and a lot of patience. OK. We finished the nose. That was a rather grueling, challenging operation. And now the whole thing's come together. Okay. Now it's about her healing and having a good attitude. Cindy, this is just the beginning. Now I got to keep fit, stick with the diet, start exercising. I'm ready to win. Only time will tell if the grueling procedure fixed Cindy's witch-like nose. Surgery means a long and painful recovery. Cindy is finding the hardest part is going through it alone. I receive mail a lot and it just, you know, it keeps my spirits up. My heart and love is with you, Mama. We miss you bunches. My God, I can't even explain how much I miss you. Probably should have cried. Just have my eyes worked on. <laughs> I don't know if I can cry. I miss them so much. Cindy is desperately missing her family, and her grueling recovery might be more than she can take alone. While Cindy is pressing on, it's agony for her to be away from home, but she's focusing on her recovery in hopes of making it to the pageant. And I can feel my nose, the smallness of my nose, and it's just awesome. Cindy's only day seven now after a very difficult rhinoplasty, requiring a lot of work. It's coming together really, really nicely. It looks beautiful at this point. Emotionally, to hear Dr. Hayward say that my nose looks awesome, looks so good, is just, I wanted to cry. I feel real good about myself. I feel beautiful. Cindy is keeping a positive attitude through a tough recovery. While now, gathered here is the team of experts who designed their plans. Good evening, fabulous experts. Good Let's talk about Cindy Ingle. Her biggest issue was trying to get over her childhood nickname, which was the witch due to her nose. Dr. Hayworth, when you met Cindy first, you actually didn't even think you could fix her nose, did you? Yeah, I was rather apprehensive when I first saw Cindy's nose, and I realized I had a very challenging job ahead of me. But I think everything came together quite nicely. And Dr. Luffman, Cindy used to shave her facial hair with a razor. How did you get her over that? She was shaving every single day and found that she would even have that five o'clock stubble. Now that she's had laser hair removal, she wakes up stubble free. Fantastic. Well, by the look on all of your faces, you're very anxious to see the new Cindy Ingle. I want to remind you of what Cindy looked like when she first joined us. It's gotten to a point where I use a razor every day. I was in elementary school. My grade put on a Halloween. 
program. I was easily selected to be the witch. That's how I see myself. People just don't understand what it feels like to feel ugly. Well, Cindy took a big leap of faith by coming here in the first place. So let's see if it was worth all the hard work, shall we? Please welcome the brand new Cindy Ingle. Amazing. Thank you. you. feel good? Yes. I Come feel with very me. good. <laughs> oh, my word. How are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. And you look I fantastic. Do. Yes, despite not having seen myself, I feel, I feel great. I feel beautiful. I feel it. It's here. The time has come, Cindy. Cindy, behind that curtain, there's a mirror. When you're ready, the curtain will be drawn back, and you will see yourself for the first time in three months. It's time to walk up to the curtain for me. Cindy, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. ask you, do you feel blah anymore? No. Oh my god, not at all. Oh my god. Wait till my husband sees me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is it about yourself that shocks you most? My nose is, it's tiny. My waist is tiny. Do you recognize yourself at all, Cindy? No, I don't. I don't recognize myself. You look great. Yes, you do. <laughs> and you know what? You have a team of wonderful experts to thank. There they are. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. She's very, very proud that her nose came out so perfectly. It just harmonized so well with the rest of her facial features. It was great. <laughs> thank you. When I saw Cindy, I thought, who is that movie star? <laughs> began the SWAN program determined to lose her witch-like nose and get her body into shape. Her positive attitude helped her make the transformation from a self-proclaimed witch to an elegant beauty. Let's bring them out. Gentlemen. Ladies, one of you is about to move forward to the pageant and could be crowned the swan. When you've been judged on beauty, poise, and overall transformation. Along with that title, ladies, comes cash and prizes worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. 
In this envelope is the name of the woman who's been chosen to go on to the pageant. The woman who has earned a place in the pageant tonight. Is Cindy Ingle. Cindy made it to the pageant for its intensity of spirit, motivation, and physical transformation. I think Cindy made it to the pageant because she had a great heart, soul, mind, and commitment. Cindy, well done. Mm. Well done.